so hello friends welcome back to another video so in this video we're gonna talk about the main differences between the synchronous motor and the induction motor so let's start the video without taking much time so ac motors are generally divided into two types so the first one that is synchronous motor and the second one that is asynchronous motor the asynchronous motor is also known as the induction motor okay so the first point of the synchronous motor that is in case of the synchronous motor the speed of the rotor and the stator are equal but in case of the asynchronous motor or induction motor the speed of the rotor and the stator are not equal next point of the synchronous motor that is in case of synchronous motor it is not self starting but in case of the asynchronous or induction motor it is self starting and so the third point of synchronous motor in case of synchronous motor separate dc source is required for the rotor excitation but in case of induction motor we don't need any type of source to excite the rotor okay that rotor gets excited by the induced emf itself so that's why we need we don't need any type of source to excite the rotor in case of induction motor okay next point of synchronous motor speed control is not possible in case of synchronous motor but in case of asynchronous or induction motor speed control is possible okay so the next point of the synchronous motor that synchronous motor can be used as a condenser for the power factor improvement okay so it is generally the synchronous motor is generally used to used as a condenser for the power factor improvement but in case of induction motor it can't be used as a condenser okay the next point of the synchronous motor that in case of synchronous motor the motor is very sensitive to sudden load change okay if the load changes suddenly then it is very sensitive in nature but in case of induction motor it is that means the sensitive phenomenon is not present there okay so the next point of the synchronous motor that is the construction is very complicated in case of the synchronous motor but in case of the asynchronous or induction motor the construction is very simpler and very easy to understand and very easy to construct also okay the last point of synchronous motor and the induction motor that is in case of the synchronous motor the motor is very costly and it requires frequent maintenance but in case of the induction motor motor is very cheap and it doesn't require any maintenance inside this motor okay so it's all about the main differences between the ac motors that is synchronous and the asynchronous motor okay